In just three minutes, let's simplify the three faces of Keynesian economics. Keynesian, Neo-Keynesian, and New Keynesian. Let's go. The story begins in the 1930s with John Maynard Keynes and his famous book, The General Theory of Employment, Interest, and Money. At that time, the world was facing the Great Depression, and unemployment was sky high. Keynes argued that markets don't self-correct in the short run. Unemployment can persist because of low aggregate demand. The government must intervene through fiscal policy, i.e., more spending and less taxation, to boost demand. So, Keynesian economics focuses on demand-side policies and supports active government intervention to achieve full employment. After World War II, economists like Hicks, Samuelson, and Modigliani tried to blend Keynesian ideas with classical microeconomics. This gave rise to the Neo-Keynesian school, also called the Keynesian synthesis. Their model, the famous ISLM framework, explained equilibrium through ES curve, goods market, LM curve, money market. They agreed that in the short run, government policy can fix output and employment, but in the long run, the economy returns to full employment. So, Neo-Keynesianism, shocks, Keynesian macro plus classical micro foundations. Then in the 1980s came the new Keynesians, economists like Gregory Mankiw, Stanley Fisher, and David Romer. They responded to the new classical school and introduced micro foundations to explain why markets don't always clear. They introduced concepts like sticky prices and wages because of contracts or menu costs, imperfect competition, rational expectations. New Keynesians accepted that people are rational, but markets are not perfect. So, even with rational expectations, monetary and fiscal policy can stabilize the economy in the short run. So, here's the summary. Keynesian. Government demand management. Neo-Keynesian. Keynes. Plus. Classical. ISLM. New Keynesian. Micro foundations. Plus. Sticky prices. Follow for more 3-minute concepts, made simple for UGC net and economics lovers.